Right, we move on, yes. Uh, a very, to a very unlikely but nevertheless true story. The it. man who runs the celebrity <laughs> gossip website, Holy Moly, which depends for its success on paparazzi shots of beleaguered stars, has had a road to Damascus moment. He said that henceforth he will no longer show pictures of people like Britney Spears and Amy Winehouse where they clearly look distressed and hunted. Ha. He says ha. it's just not funny anymore. We'll be talking to the apparently reformed Mr Holy Moly in a minute, but first here are some of the pictures taken by the paps who've been hounding celebrities, especially Britney, over recent weeks. Well, joining us now, along with uh, mirror writer Kevin O'Sullivan, um, is Mr Holy Moly, who for reasons best known to himself was elected to remain anonymous. Why, actually, Mr Holy uh, Moly? Well, my mum doesn't know I work in celeb showbiz. She still thinks I play a piano in a brothel, so I just thought I'd keep it. <laughs> No, it's because it's you mi it's because you mingle with your victims, isn't it? Uh, not you well, kind of a bit. It's a, a bit of that, but more to do with the fact that, that I, I really don't want anything to do with me to be the actual story because I just write about celebrities. I don't. I, I've got absolutely no desire. To not like that American guy who Perez uh, Hilton. Yeah, him. I'm kind of, He's yeah, always Perez like, Hilton's a woman, Judy. No, Perez Hilton. <laughs> Perez, what's I know. Yeah, I kind of kind of want to be the exact opposite of him, really. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. We'll, we'll come to. We'll, <laughs> well, okay. Just, just explain why you've made this pledge. I mean, this is a very odd thing for someone running a celebrity w w website like you do to say, "I'm not going to carry pictures like we've just seen of Britney Spears, you know, bleeding her heart out on the pavement." Why do you have this attack of conscience all of a sudden? Um, I just think the whole morals of it is just getting a bit seedy and a bit scary. It always and, was, wasn't it? Well, the, the, po quite possibly. And 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 I'm, I'm the first to say I, I'm probably a real hypocrite for doing this. But when you see a woman leaving a mental, mental institution, being followed by 40 people, mm -hmm. and having a and trying to trying to take a picture of a backside, I just think that it's, there's a massive problem there. Somewhere. So we've crossed the line. Yeah, absolutely. We've crossed the line, both yeah. both as publishers of this material and as voyeurs of this material. We're yeah. all we're all equally guilty, are we? Yeah. Think? What do you think, Kevin? Well, new name, holier than thou, Moly. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I do actually completely appreciate what our unnamed friend is saying. Uh, but, you know, the paparazzi are, 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 are a function of the free press and uh, I'm very worried about the idea of trying to stop them doing what they do. And, of course, there are bad apples in the barrel, but, you know, you could say, let's make Britain into a fantastic country, nothing will ever go wrong, everybody will be sent to prison. <laughs> so you, you can't actually well, penalise every paparazzi for what some of the really bad guys do. Well, and this no, is a bad road to go down. But surely, I mean, don't we all know now, I mean, whatever you may say, and whatever we talk about the freedom of the press, don't we all know when we look at those pictures of Britney and the poor girl's clearly ill, I mean, you know, she's been in a mental hospital, she's a, um, we all know that when we look at those pictures of Britney, we are no better than people looking at freaks in, in, in Bedlam or something like that. I mean, it's just awful. With B Brittany and uh, Amy Winehouse, it's entirely wrong. You see excesses every single day. Mm. Uh, and, and the problem with the paparazzi is while 99% of them are perfectly decent, law-abiding guys who go about their business, a lot of people might find it unsavoury, but they go about their business in a, a, a decent, polite manner, uh, they're affected by the 1% who do it in a disgusting, illegal manner. And the problem those illegal is what, what, are getting published. Is, the problem is, Sorry, what, what do editors do? Published, you say. Yeah. What on. do editors do? The problem is, what do editors do? It's not uh, actually kind of possible that editors can look at the 10,000 pictures they get every day. Mm. This is a can difficult we, thing to do. see, I disagree there. Let's ask you a question. If, if tomorrow, and uh, you're wherever you work from, mm -hmm. um, you, you were presented with a fantastic photograph of Britney Spears doing something quite extraordinary, mm. clearly because of her mental condition, yeah. but it was something she'd never been seen doing before, mm -hmm. and it was a picture that would, would go around the world. It's an exclusive, it's yours. Are you telling me you really wouldn't run it now? I'd probably financially regret it, but yeah. Really? Yeah. Because someone's going to make. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not trying to be a moral beacon. You know, I still dislike celebrities quite a lot. But 
Well, then, I'm do you think the number of hits to your, your website are going to drop off then? If uh, you think, well, I can't see, I can't see what I want to see. I'll go to somewhere else. Quite possibly, but I don't. I, the the reaction that I've had from the readers. Well, this whole thing was generated by people pointing out the hypocrisy really? of, of on the on the website of me saying of, of me actually feeling sorry for Britney Spears. Okay. The users and the readers quite rightly pointed out that, mm -hmm. that I was a hypocrite. Can I can, can I just say very briefly that um, I don't know if this is true, but this is what you you, you have been quoted as saying. Um, that uh, the, the no that the, um, the those pictures of um, Amy Winehouse that we saw when she was uh, just wearing her underwear and she stumbled out of her house at four o'clock in the morning, in the morning yeah. clearly in a terrible state. You say that actually paparazzi had been actually encouraging her to come out by banging on her window yeah, I and mean, saying come outside. I mean, in your you guys, have, uh, I'm sure, have had plenty of experience of paparazzi in the past, Thanks. and you know that you know all of their tricks. Hmm. Yeah. You know, do I for one second believe that Amy Winehouse decided to leave her house at the f three or four in the morning in the freezing cold in a bra? No. Mm. When there's 40 people outside her door? You know, it's just, it's just... Okay. okay. It's crazy. Well, <clears throat> it's, uh, I don't know if it's the start of a trend or not, but I wonder if you'll be doing this in a month. We'll see, eh? Hope so. Okay, okay. we'll see.